At a first glance, the upcoming RX1e by CSC Motorcycles is a true adventure-style motorbike with the class-specific upright stance, bash guards, a set of cargo boxes, and a windshield. However, the manufacturer and the powertrain setup suggest that this model could also serve as a practical city commuter. With the installed 8kW electric motor, you have 18kW of peak output and 61.2 pound-feet of torque at your disposal. These motor parameters mean that the acceleration to 60 miles per hour would take just 9 seconds, while the top speed is limited to 80 miles per hour. RX-1E's powertrain also supports reverse gear for navigating tight spaces and an electronic cruise control system. Besides the electronic cruise control, this model comes with a good deal of quality components, namely a halogen headlight with LED running lights in the corners, a backlit LCD speedometer and information panel, 37mm inverted telescopic fork with 4.7 inches of travel and adjustable rebound damping, preload adjustable rear suspension with 4.3 inches of travel, all-terrain tubeless tires with aluminum wheels, ABS brakes both front and rear, saddlebags and a top box providing 19 gallons of cargo capacity. Finally, with a 96-volt, 64-amp-hour lithium-ion pack, you can expect between 80 and 112 miles of riding. Cake Motorcycles, a Swedish e-motorcycle manufacturer, couldn't let latest EICMA motorcycling exhibition happen without showing its brand new offering. The company used years of its engineering experience in development of race and off-road motorcycles to create their most advanced trail-ready machine. It received the Buck name, which is reportedly translated as a thundercloud. The two-wheeler is offered in a race yellow color scheme specially developed for this limited edition 50-unit production run. Besides a unique look, the bike has undergone an extreme weight reduction procedure that resulted in the best power-to-weight ratio in this motorcycling class. It seems that the sales of the limited edition turned out to be a huge success because six months after the initial presentation, Cake Motorcycles decided to put Buck into mass production. The two-wheeler is based on a solid aluminum frame and finest aircraft alloy components that help get the overall weight to 196 pounds and get the most of the brand's latest IPM motor. The motor, named Jante, pushes out 16 kilowatts of peak output and provides 336 pound-feet of instant torque, thus letting you accelerate from 0 to 28 miles per hour in 2.15 seconds. Once you engage the throttle, this electrifying sprint will only stop at the top speed of 56 miles per hour. Due to the lightweight nature of this build, the company resorted to the use of a compact battery pack with 2.9 kilowatt hours of capacity. This 72 volt 40 amp hour battery unit can provide up to 53 miles of mixed enduro riding, which equates to about a three hour runtime. Buck's limited riding autonomy issue is partially resolved with a unique frame design that allows hot battery swapping. If you have access to an additional battery pack, you could go back to riding in a matter of minutes. If you decide to use a regular charging option, a 0 to 100% charging session would take 2.5 hours. With the Buck Bike, Cake Motorcycles wanted to give you the maximum possible array of customization options. You can configure your bike to be either street legal, trail only, or both. There are three suspension options that include components from RB, Formula, Olins, and WP suspension. Other miscellaneous customizations include a software upgrade that lets you adjust throttle sensitivity, throttle response, and traction control. C1X Concept previews the future lightweight electric motorcycle that is to be sold under the Super 73 brand. It is supposed to serve as an entry model for those who'd like to get a taste of riding all-electric motorcycles. Super 73's engineers tried to keep this two-wheeler as light and as compact as possible. It will have a 51-inch wheelbase, roll on 15-inch wheels, and have the seat height of 31 inches. C1X will be brought into motion by means of an electric motor of undisclosed capacity with a chain drive, but the manufacturer announced that it would be powerful enough to reach the highway-ready speed of 75 miles per hour. The battery capacity and chemistry are to be unveiled in the future, but the company's aiming for the 100 miles of city range and fast charging capabilities. With the level 2 charging, you should be juiced up to the 80% level in less than 60 minutes. 
The list of other specifications that have already been announced includes fork and rear monoshock suspension, bright daytime running lights, and an LED headlamp. The production-ready model is likely to enter the market in late 2023, and you can already place a refundable $73 deposit for this bike. Como Italy is home for yet another promising EV startup. Over the past four years, Positive Motorcycles Company has been working on a motorcycle that could easily cover daily commutes up to 75 miles. The bike has an eye-catching Italian design with multiple aluminum and natural fiber parts. These materials were used because of their good recycling properties and relatively low weight. Consequently, the bike is supposed to have a lower carbon footprint compared to its counterparts with plastic cladding. With the weight of 335 pounds, this bike has no problem accelerating to the speed of 77 miles per hour, owing to its liquid-cooled 11-kilowatt electric motor. The motor's peak output is clocked at 30 kilowatts, so the linear acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes just 6 seconds. The specially developed electric motor features a regenerative braking system that could charge the built-in 7.5-kilowatt-hour battery when braking or riding downhill. Once depleted, a complete battery recharging process would take six hours. Once in mass production in 2024, the model will be equipped with a set of 17-inch wheels, 41mm suspension fork, double rear shock absorbers by Olin's, and a 4.3-inch touchscreen display. If you're into dirt bikes, then you must have seen Teleria Sting riders at your nearest dirt trail. But did you know that the company recently presented the Sting's younger sibling called the X3? The lightweight X3 tips the scales at just 127 pounds and is offered in both off-road and road versions. So it's well suited for urban exploration or as an entry-level model for occasional trips to the dirt trail. The bike's compact frame combines an adjustable Teleria factory fork, a rear shock, four piston hydraulic brakes, and a set of 17-inch wheels into one sleek road-legal bike. If you decide to opt in for the trail-only modification, then you'll get a 19-inch wheel in the front and a 17-inch one in the back. The powertrain components are represented by an air-cooled IPM motor with 2.5 kilowatts of nominal and 3.5 kilowatts of peak power. The motor torque parameter is clocked at 25 pound-feet, while the indicator at the wheel is at 171 pound-feet. The motor is hooked up to a 60-volt, 40-amp-hour battery pack that will power your journey for up to 50 miles at speeds close to 47 miles per hour. Many of you should be already familiar with solid EV rides since we extensively covered their electric motorcycle concepts in the past. Even though this company from the Netherlands has many developments in the electric motorcycle niche, none of them have reached mass production. Luckily, this is about to change and this year we'll get a chance to purchase their first product. The company decided to play it safe and get into the business with a lightweight motorbike instead of the full-size e-motorcycles it's known for. Sized as a classic moped from the past century, Solid MX could become your perfect solution for city commuting. It's built with heavy-duty materials, thus making it suitable for personal use, delivery services, or ride-sharing companies that have EV fleets. The moped is rolling on a set of 18-inch wheels with all-road Kenda tires. It is propelled by a 5-kilowatt electric hub motor that has 110 pound-feet capabilities. Unfortunately, the manufacturer restricted the moped's top speed to 28 miles per hour in order to comply with European standards for light personal vehicles. The limited top speed greatly increased the range expectations since you'd be able to cover between 50 and 85 miles on one full charge of the 3.3 kilowatt hour battery. Last year, Soron tried to step up their game and entered the full-size motocross bike segment with the Storm B model. 
The model had its debut on the Asian and European markets last year. However, in 2023, this two-wheeler will find its representation on the North American bike market through a distributor. Just to recap, this electric motorbike is built on a high-strength forged aluminum frame. It has a 56.3-inch wheelbase and comes equipped with a 21-inch wire-spoked rim in the front and an 18-inch rim in the back. The minimum ground clearance is said to be at 12.2 inches. The forward motion comes courtesy of a liquid-cooled brushless electric motor unit capable of putting out 22.5 kilowatts at its peak. At the same time, the peak torque at the wheel reaches 383 pound-feet. This is enough to perform the 0 to 50 mile per hour sprint in just 3.6 seconds. The top speed limiter will not stop you until the 68 mile per hour mark is reached. The bike's adjustable suspension system is represented by a 47 mm inverted front fork with 11.4 inches of travel and a rear shock absorber with 290 mm of travel. The longevity of any dirt bike's performance comes down to the battery type and its capacity. In the case of Storm B, it's a 104 volt, 55 amp hour battery unit with lithium ion cells and an in house developed battery management system. The battery pack weighs about 66 pounds and brings the overall curb weight to 280 pounds. The bike's frame was designed to let you remove the battery pack for the ease of charging. The complete recharge is said to last for up to four hours. Every charge will let you travel up to 70 miles if your average speed is 30 miles per hour. RTR Motorcycles, a young EV startup from Brazil, have recently announced about the start of their homologation process of their upcoming 799e Scrambler motorcycle. Once the process is complete, the company is set on proceeding with the model production as early as December 2023 and is already taking pre-orders. The 799e Scrambler was developed as a zero-emission alternative to ICE motorcycles that are currently available in Brazil. It is said to have lower running costs while being offered at a price similar to ICE counterparts. This electric scrambler is motivated by an 8-kilowatt electric hub motor with 12-kilowatt peak capabilities. The peak output could be unleashed via a special boost button, which also unlocks that 78-mile-per-hour top speed capability. The motor is juiced by a built-in lithium-ion battery pack. However, the manufacturer is planning to reimagine the battery pack design to gain hot-swap capabilities. The battery has 7.7 kilowatt-hours of capacity and can let you ride for up to 75 miles between charges. The list of standard features includes dual disc brakes with energy recuperation, a small storage compartment, and a USB charger for your smartphone. After four years, Spain's Urbet has decided that their lightweight E125 motorcycle is ready for an overhaul. This 240-pound motorcycle still relies on a 3-kilowatt rear hub motor, capable of pushing up to the 55-mile-per-hour speeds. However, the battery pack was upgraded to a different chemistry type. As standard, the bike is sold with one 72-volt, 35-amp-hour battery unit that will let the good times going for up to 50 miles in the lowest power setting and 30 miles in the highest setting. The battery is removable and is hidden inside a special compartment inside the faux fuel tank area. If needed, you can install two battery packs at once, thus increasing your range autonomy. For the 2023 model year, the E125 bike also gets you regenerative braking, three riding modes with a reverse gear, hydraulic disc brakes, hydraulic suspension and an inverted fork, LED lights, and a security system with an alarm. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.